Look at this sand beach here, huh? All right, looks like we got some explorers out here. Hey guys, Brett here for Topo Ranger. Welcome to another episode. We're at the gorge, the Holtwood Gorge. Just a little downriver of the Holtwood Dam. And we're here at this beautiful black sand beach. Look at that. I bet you didn't realize there was a, a black sand beach here in Pennsylvania. But there's also kind of brown sand beach right here actually this one's kind of mixed you see that and there's sparkle sparklies in there huh you know what I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet that that black sparkly stuff is coal look at that how deep does it go I think this is the soil here. Question is, if you tried to burn this, would it burn? That's a good question. But just looking at it here under the light, it really does look shiny. Looks like little shiny anthracite coal. That's a lot of it though, look. But it's mixed with the sand. In some places, the dark stuff seems like it tends to want to be closer to the river. Let's just head out here. Dam's right there. I looked at the schedule for the dam release for when they generate electricity or they lower the level of Lake Aldred. It's always very important that when you come here and you're exploring, make sure you look and see what the, what the dam release schedule is. That way you won't be surprised when the alarms go off and you'll be able to get back over to this side safely, all right? Let's head out there. Right now we're behind the Panasonic here, and I'm gonna zoom in on what I think is might be a pretty interesting pothole right here. And it's located in one of those isolated raised plateau terrace zones. There it is right there, you see it? Okay, so that elevated chunk of rock there, it's part of the bedrock, but it's elevated. The top of that, is one level and the brown level on the plane really underneath is another level and in that level is a pothole and that's right there so right there that you can see it starts right there goes up and then it ends right there it goes back down now that's a smaller little chunk it's bigger than the one we're standing on now, but it's but it's also smaller. And that's the pothole we're going to go to. And then if you move over here towards the York County side, you can see there's another much larger plateau there. 
I'm gonna zoom in on the surface right there. You see that? See where the rock goes from dark to light? It's got a bunch of uh, lichens and stuff on it, discolored by the water levels. That's the flat surface right there. And you pull away, you can see that, you can see it. So we're gonna head right over there. So now we're a little bit closer and that pothole is coming into view. So I wanted to just zoom in on that from this new angle and there it is. Looks like a nice one. Got some vulture action going on. Looks like they're either playing or maybe fighting over food. Where'd they go? So that's the Holtwood power generation plant. And there you can really see the, the flat level there. The very top of that rock, so those rocks, that would have been one of the old plains and then right down there. Some guys were nice enough to go fishing today and provide us with some much needed human scale. There they are, one's sitting down, one's fishing. You can also, right where they are, you can also come right up there when the water is, is high enough, you can kayak right up there, or you can boat right up there, although I don't, I don't see a lot of big boats up there. I do see kayak fishermen up there. I'm gonna pull out now. That's, I think that might be Fry Island, or the top of Brushy Island where they're standing right now. I mean, if you just go over that channel. That's that falcon. That's the falcon. It's got the nest. It's going back to the nest, probably. I found a... Uh, spotted a big nest when it first came in here now it's coming back out so we're at a high point here in this part of the gorge there are uh, several different levels of down cutting in this gorge where essentially the river was coming through here cutting down and then stopping then kind of staying at one's place and then you get another episode of down cutting and then it kind of stops right there so each big episode of relatively rapid down cutting left behind traces of where it stopped. And these are called uh, terraces uh, or straths, I think is another word you can use to talk about these things. And if you, uh, if you start looking around, you can start to read it and you, you start to see them. Even though when you first look at it, it just it looks like, like a bunch of rocks, right? So we started there, we walked down that way, and then I came up here and we're at a high point. And here you can see the schist, okay? Now this looks green to me. I don't know what it, <laughs> I don't know what it looks, looks like to you guys. But when you start to see that green, which you can also see over here, right? That's another one of the levels right there. And as you look out across these rocks, it's very, you can very clearly see the levels. And with the coloration, see, the, see all this brown stuff here? This is covered with that, you know, fine brown, light brown silt. And then, and then you have these little and then the top of that. So the brown level is one level. And then on top of this, top of the, the next level, it generally corresponds to a, a water level, a seasonal water level here in the gorge. Um, but I think that's just a, a, an accident that happens based upon where the dam is. So as each of these big down cutting uh, periods rolled through here, they created these, these levels. They left behind the hints of you know, where they had gone down and then stopped. And they also created lots and lots of potholes, little potholes, gigantic potholes. And I'm kind of on a pothole hunt here. I think what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna get some, gonna get some shots with the Panasonic and then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go over to this, this little island here. Uh, 
Well, it's not an island now, but it would be at some point. We're gonna go right over here and we're gonna see if we can't find some big potholes. I see one right there, actually. So here we are, we have arrived at this nice pothole. It's right there. I set up Panasonic right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way over there and then to the top here. Now here you can really start to see it. See that flat surface right there? That's the top of that, top of one of them. And then the next level is represented by this brown light brown stuff now the light brown stuff goes like this it's not a perfectly flat uh when you zone in to the, to the small scale it's not perfectly flat it goes like this right but if you pull back and you look at it from a larger from a larger perspective it creates this flat plane below this one and here's another one so this is a this is a much bigger chunk of that terrace level right and here it's easier to see isn't it right maybe when i was back there you were like, what's he talking about? I don't see anything. I just see a bunch of rocks. <laughs> um, but here, it's really, really easy to see. And this area is just infested with potholes, which tells me that there was a, a, a lot of swirling action. There's one right there. Now, I can't quite walk to that one. That's, that's the one we were looking for. But I'm going to walk up there, and it's going to be a good scale shot. I'm recording right now because this water here is, well, three, four, five feet deep. Underneath the water surface here, you can see potholes, potholes. This whole area here is just really like potholes. <laughs> There's a big one there that's been mostly eroded away. All right, so we're gonna head over here, along this, up there, and up to the top of this terrace here. And I got my Panasonic going, so we can get some nice scale shots. So here we are, we're on the top now. And we're right above this big pothole. I want to make sure I don't fall in here. That's the camera right there. So we should be in the shot right now. Hey! And here you can really see the, the, the terrace levels. It's easier to see here. The light brown is one. Boom, there's the next one. See that? So one, two. Now as you get lower down in the gorge, I think there's a couple more levels. And I think there's another one over there too, right along there, along the sides of the, of the gorge here. And like I said before, I'm standing on top of one of the terrace levels. You can see this, whole thing here pothole alley i don't know whatever you want to call it comes in between this terrace and that terrace so there might have been exceptionally strong action going through here thousands of years ago to, that's might be the reason why there are so many potholes right here one thing i noticed coming up here that was pretty neat was these was like stair step potholes one two three four and notice how they all line up right some kind of joint or fault right there. So yeah, here we are. I mean, this is beautiful. Uh, a beautiful place. Combines history, geology, go fishing. I mean, this is just a killer place. I do recommend if you do come up here and the water's kind of like this level, you're best off just wearing some muck boots. That way you don't, the water won't stop you. And there's two guys still down there fishing. 
be a good place for bird watching too. I've seen, well, I've already seen bald eagle, falcon, vultures, and there's another one, kind of like the one we're right above here, right there. And again, you can see the layers more easily now, right? Tan. All right. So this one is probably created completely. And then this section got pff, eroded away, leaving this pothole basically open. Water looks fairly deep there, three, four feet. I'd say this is probably six feet across. Oh, look at this one. Water, the wind comes in here, it sets the, the water kind of in a spiral. That water's pretty clear though. Here's my boot for scale. All right, let's head back to the camera. Now right here is an enormous, it almost looks like there are multiple potholes like superimposed upon each other. But the big one is roughly right about there. I mean, it's gotta be, when it was whole, I mean, it must've been at least 15, 20 feet in diameter at the, at the river level. All right, we got to do this fast. Arms away. guys i'm gonna end it here because i'm pretty sure i have enough for a 10 or 15 minute episode in the can and there's so much to do down at the gorge here over the summer i know i make a lot of plans already i think my whole summer is already already figured out in terms of trips i don't know which ones i'm actually going to do which ones i'm not i would like to get down here in this area and see if we can't find some some really big potholes there are, you know there is a pothole down on Peavine island which is down that way which is nearly 30 feet deep uh i'm gonna take you there i'm gonna show you that in one of the episodes this is a good place to watch uh to see birds big birds there's a falcon's nest there and i think there's another maybe that's a bald eagle's nest right there i'm gonna orient you right now there is the whitewater park there's where you come down here's one of the terraces and you can get to this one here. It's not far from, from the shore. So if you're kind of worried about the dam or the water level, you know, you don't have to come out very far to get some of these cool potholes. Uh, always check the release schedule, the electricity generation schedule. They have a website. Just check that and make sure they're not going to do any big releases. Um, if they were to send the alarm, if they were to let it come over the dam right now, you know, I would just go over there. It, it takes a lot a lot of water to start bringing this stuff up but that doesn't mean you should uh you know be lax about it because um quite a few people have died right here in various ways so always be careful as always loved having you along if you have fun subscribe hit that bell for notifications follow me on all of the platforms right i'm on twitter facebook instagram and youtube